Hi, my name is Jessalyn Rollins, and I'm 21 years old. Hi, my name is Brandon Rollins, and I am 32 years old, and we are from Springfield, Missouri. And this is Financial Audit. So what do you do for a living? Um, nothing currently. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and then side hustles, DoorDash, and Uber. Okay, and what do you do? Uh, I am a car salesman. Car salesman, awesome. So you're bringing in the most monies, I'm assuming, in the month. Yes. So what do you bring in on a monthly basis on average? I assume there's a lot of, well, there is a lot of commission. Yeah, it is all commission based. So um, I guess year to date it sits at, it's like 49,918. Um, I like how you say like, and then it's a very exact number. <laughs> yeah, we just looked at it yesterday. So. <laughs> So, like 49,918, and we were about to complete the fifth month of the year, right? So, divide that by five. So, you're bringing in about 10,000 bucks a month, essentially. We'll just give you the benefit of the roundup. <laughs> How does that, do you feel that's about right? Yeah, uh, I think I did 117 and some change last year, and I think it ended up being like 99 and some change overall. So Very good. And what do you bring in on a monthly basis with the side hustles? Uh, gross about $500 a month. And then I would say like after gas, um, I'm probably like $400 a week. What are you saying monthly? Yeah. You said 500 a month and then you went to oh, $500, $500 a, week. a week is what I meant. Sorry. Oh, and that's yeah. pretty standard yeah. is what you're getting. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. So 400. So we're bringing an extra 1700 bucks a month on average from that. Then yours is post tax or pre tax at 10, That would 000? be pre tax. Pre tax, okay. Yeah. And then so, you're going to get a heavy hit. Yeah, on it that. ends up being about 30% overall. So 30% of 9,900. Yeah. Um, that'd be like 990 times three. I think that would be like 2970 minus nine, 990. I, I'm sorry. I think I lost you there for a. Well, 10%, it'd be 7,000 after tax if you do 30%. My tax is roughly about 30%. Oh, yeah. I see gross. what you're saying there. So okay. About seven grand. So in total for household income that hits the account, we're seeing just about 8,733 hitting the account on a monthly basis? That's close. Yeah. Okay. And to note, I've only been doing DoorDash and Instacart for like probably two months. Okay. Um, Why'd you start it? Because we hit a slow period um, right before tax season. No one wanted to spend their money on cars is what I'm guessing. So we uh, didn't do as great. Um, yeah. And because it's split up the way it's split up, we get a really big check the first half of the month and then the second half is like really small. Um, just the way like the spiffs and the commission hits. Um, so the end of February, it was like really dry financially, if you would. Um, and so that's kind of why I explored DoorDash. I've been doing it on and off for like four years. Um, so I have experience, but um, I just like to do it when we need cash. Okay. Now and walk me, who wants to walk me through the financial situation and give ourselves a household score zero out of 10? <sighs> who wants to do it? I. I mean, I'll yeah, say it. I guess sure. realistically, I'd probably say it's about a two to three. Yeah, I'd um, say three for sure. We were doing all right there towards the end of 2022. Wow, and we had a good chunk of money. I, I tell you what, uh, the economy just kind of hit the bed. Well, what about the economy affected you? Just the, um, the interest rates rising. Most people don't generally buy cars when interest rates. So it's the car rise. sales. Correct. And car I, sales. And yeah. Basically, I get paid like per car essentially. Mm -hmm. um, which if not a lot of people are buying, typically what I get is um, per car. But mm. if you sell X amount of cars, you get an additional amount of money, right? Mm -hmm. um, so not hitting the extra amount of cars I'm used to hitting obviously cuts down the amount. I think I only brought home like $4,200 in March, which barely even, that's, that's pre-tax. So that wasn't even after tax. So um, in order to get to that 49000 that you've made this year so far, when did things start picking up? Um, it was actually the best months were January and February. And at the end of February coming into March, it just slowed oh, down. No. Has it been slow since March? Yeah, it's been, it's crap. So we can't project $10,000 a month, can no. we? Mm -mm. Oh, so that's, that's the worst part because it's commission. So I, yeah. I get paid and if no one's buying a car, then I don't make any money per se. Well, you do. You make, well, it's an hourly rate, but what's the can, hourly rate? Oh, it's terrible. $10 an hour. 12. Yeah. No, it's 10. Missouri's 12 now. Isn't it? I think the oh, minimum. Still says, yeah, still like a it's minimum. hourly. So like you clock in in the morning, you clock out so at six. So essentially it's whatever's greater. So if I work, I work right. like 65 hours a week, right? Um, so 65 hours times 10 and then 
per week. If I sell more cars and make more money, then I get that. If I don't sell cars, then I get that, essentially. So is the main struggle that income was coming down, but lifestyle sustained? Yeah, essentially. It's not even lifestyle. It's the minimum payments we have to make. Because so it's I the mean, lifestyle you've been into yeah. and then just trying to... Why you? Why have you guys gone into so much debt? Um, let's see. We got moved into the apartment last May. Um, well, let's just say, okay, so <laughs> I, I'd say, oh, goodness. Um, last spring, we got to, we started dating, um, and then we moved last into- Last spring? <laughs> Correct. Okay, we've moved quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, and I, so we actually, I guess, backtrack even further. We met selling cars together. Um, I initially was selling cars, and um, then I, we got- I, got pregnant we started dating um eventually got hot and car sales is hot in the summer and i don't want to be big and pregnant out there trying to sell this wrangler and so i ended up quitting which was kind of a dumb decision looking back because they had six weeks of maternity leave guaranteed mm. and they offered to move me to a different position that was hourly based inside all, t- all the time have you tried to get a job back or do you just not want to work right now from my understanding, they will not hire her back because she is my wife. Now we're married. That's fair, but the experience taking to another dealership. It's the hours of car sales, too. I mean, like, yeah. he works 60 hours. You say 50, 60? No, I probably average 60, 277 a month, whatever that comes to. So is your main thing wanting to be home for the kid? Yeah. Okay, so and, and then working the hours you want to work, and that's where yeah, you do the more hustle that's where Instacart jobs. and DoorDash comes in, and if Instacart's watching, I don't but get what, my But why do we get into the debt? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We Ooh, the car. spent a whole the yeah. car. <laughs> so what happened was uh, we were dating. We ended up getting a car in April. Um, probably spent way too much money. It had all Why the stuff. Why would you we do wanted. that? You're the car exactly. salesman. Why would you guys do this? Because car salesmen and people salesmen in general are the easiest, easiest to, to sell to. to. Yeah. Yeah. You said it yourself. Um, Bought the car. It was everything we hoped and dreamed. And realistically, buying something new at that time was way more realistic than buying something used. Anything with thirty was, to 40,000 miles wild, was yeah. the same price as buying a new car. Yeah. And obviously, I get a certain percentage off the car because I'm an employee of it. So we bought a brand new one, you know, thinking we'd... And it, I mean, it's manageable at the time being. We just spend a crap load of money on it. Um, we got a phenomenal rate, though. I'll yeah. say. And it's What's all... What's the rate? Uh, 4.29. Okay. Phenomenal, I don't know, but it's an okay rate. I was offered 3.29, and I took 4.2 to go out an extra year in term to get the payment under $1,000 a month. But the... Because I had no trade. Under 1,000? We were just trying to get under 1,000? Yeah. Yeah. Thousands crazy. But when you have... I mean... But what? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'm not going to go there. Because, like, if you're doing it based on the... Like, the the 50% is, like, your needs. needs, And then, technically, that it's a need. It falls in that category. 50% of 10,000 is five. So, I mean, it's in there. Yeah, but we've we've already decided 8,733 after taxes, and we can't even project off of that because sales are going down. Yeah. Can you sign on that, please? Yes. If I can sell you on anything today, let me sell you on hitting that subscribe button because we're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers, and we're so close. You sold yourself into cars. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, let's just let's just look into where things are. I'm gonna start with the debt so we can just get into things. We have a medical loan. Was this the baby being born? Yes. Yeah, it's expensive to exist. But that is even. But that is even after. Um, my mom has great insurance. Um, his insurance for her is not so good. And so that's even after, like, I think altogether it was $26,000 um, just to have her in the hospital. We didn't even stay the extra night they wanted us to. We went home early. Um, I had no complications, you know. It was the smoothest pregnancy and delivery you could ever have, and it still cost almost $30,000. Birth. Yeah, Ooh. sorry. I didn't, that's why I didn't use certain words for you, because I knew, <laughs> you know, cute PG, but... Well, we have we still owe thousand six hundred three hundred thousand three. Wait, and that's yeah, a, not all of it because there's still money sitting on the my mercy account that I haven't transitioned to the loan yet. Why? Because or, um, I'm waiting for his insurance so to decide what there? they're gonna pay. So one thousand three hundred sixty eight dollars is what's on there. Mm-hmm. What is it actually though? What's the real number? There's another eighteen hundred sitting in my mercy. Death. I want to say. All right, so this is a total of 
definitely 3,168. Actually, it's not, well, I mean, well, it's the Let birth. Me, I'm going to triple check that that's correct. With a $65 minimum monthly payment, which oh, will go only, up. It's only 1,500 view details. $65 minimum monthly payment, but that will go up. It's estimating another $83 a month to finance the rest An of extra? that. extra? Mm-hmm. But you can't because it would be above the credit limit. You only but have it's available through my, credit of 300 It's through the bank I've had my entire life's commerce. So, so are they going to increase it? Yeah, for sure. Sure? I'm, I'm confident. Okay. Shout out to commerce. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and it's going to increase it by an extra 85 Eighty-five dollars a month, yeah. So it'll be sixty plus eighty-five, just to do round. So it's gonna be about. So it's gonna be one hundred fifty dollars a month. Jeez. Just in medical. What's the interest on this thing? Um, it's zero percent. Good. Okay, so that's good. Because zero percent for how long, though? Forever, because it's um, my mercy or mercy in general is the nonprofit hospital, and then they sell the debt to commerce is what how I imagine it going um and so they don't do interest on it now we have a commerce credit card yeah there is interest charge on this so we had a previous balance 647 dollars but we paid 30 dollars towards it which was just the minimum monthly payment but then we purchased an extra hundred dollars why are we purchasing extra money on a card that we're probably trying to pay off i mean ideally we'd like to pay everything off <laughs> um but like we stated before, cost of living and how much money was coming in is kind of like the only way to survive at that point in time. Just going into debt. We're going to have to take a look at every yeah. single little thing for context by the end. But And then I have it set up to where you're not going to like this, but mm. if my checking account overdrafts, it the original fee will charge you $35, okay? But if you have the credit card, you can pull like the cash advance from the credit card. And I have it set up to pull $50 and send it to my checking so I don't pay the 35. I only pay 10 because it's through the credit card. So I'm saving $25. If I overdraft on yeah, accident. Yeah, and then you're still losing interest. And you just lost $20 in, in, uh, $20 in fees as well. Yeah. You have a fee, and you're losing interest on this. Yeah, it's the interest. Yeah, it's... Cash advance yeah. as well. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's keep going. We need to see what this whole debt situation looks like. Venture... Oh. Is that capital one? Oh, it's going to get better. <laughs> oh. Stop. <laughs> so nervous. Be like... 2890 again so we're purchasing we're purchasing 2009 uh, 2900 on this thing mm -hmm. yeah. we're purchasing we made a minimum monthly payment and we're purchasing 46 dollars of purchases that's you that's bangs that's his energy drinks six dollars there's no way i spent 46 dollars on you'd be surprised so this is a Maybe zero percent right yes yeah, it ends, i think I, 18 I months from June of last year. Mm -hmm. so Okay, December so that'll be coming year. up relatively yeah. like December-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ish. So that one is These are reoccurring Apple bills that look like Apple purchase, Apple purchase, Apple purchase. I don't know. They're just Apple. I can't see what they are, but there are three Apple the purchases. They're reoccurring oh, um, subscriptions. A, We've yeah, since changed that. Wallet, and then every month I thought I changed it, and evidently it didn't freaking change, so... Now it doesn't do it. That what that's pulling is like, the Apple uh, Music family, and then his uh, Apple Care pulls through that yeah. credit card somehow. Uh, okay, then we have a Chase. Yep, that one's small. Chase is yeah, that's the baby one. Bucks. The baby one, even though it's still. I want to say it's twenty four percent interest. And I, it, yeah. I don't remember. Well, it only went up because we made zero payments and we've done forty dollars of purchases. And we lost, so we got $30 of fees. Yeah. The ones I sent you were all the really bad ones because you, we, had the bad we month, it was, like it was right, the 30 days was right when I had reached mm -hmm. out and everything. So, but $80 minimum monthly payments. I mean, these are just going to start stacking up. Yeah. Now, these, or, or, what do we even buy? Market at work, market at work, what's that? Oh, that's mm -hmm. uh lunch come on pack a lunch dude pack a lunch you work from home make a lunch yeah i know i need to be better no i mostly blame you for not packing a lunch because you can take care I of will yourself totally take the i'll take the blame for that absolutely city I mean, I, i'll say to that too over the last month and a half we 
moved out of our apartment, so we're kind of like in a position too where it, there's not a whole lot of space to be able to keep stuff and uh, make lunch. Not making excuses. Uh, which, I mean, I guess it sounds. We'll like talk about it. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about it. We're, we're, we need to set the foundation for context first. So, okay, again, this went up. We've made no payment on the city. We made two hundred fifty-eight dollars of purchases, bringing it from four thousand seven hundred fifty-two to five thousand thirty-nine. I know, and that's so sad because, as you see, we it we. Is. We had made some progress, and I paid like three hundred dollars off of it, which to me felt I didn't like see not on this statement, but yeah. Well, the forty seven hundred was, you know, the oh my goodness. And what are we purchasing? We're paying off an afterpay, so we're financing a financing. We're financing a financing. Yeah. I mean, I guess. What do you mean you guess? That's absolutely financing a financing. It was lush. I bought stuff. From okay, lush. but you afterpaid it, and now you're. And then you're yeah. financing that with a credit card. And then there's another afterpay, then Brew, then Culver's. I like Culver's. Wait, but that's Culver's Republic. What's that? Is that something different? That, is that, that not Culver's or is that in Republic? Yeah, Culver's in Republic. in Republic. Okay, I do love Culver's. But still, you can't afford Culver's right now. <laughs> that's with the Market coupon, Market at too. work. I know that's you. That's mm -hmm. with the coupon. I don't give <laughs> coupon. I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, cover your ears, infant. <laughs> oh, she's good. <laughs> Late fee! Late fee of $29! What are you laughing about a late fee for? We can't be laughing about late fees. Do we find late fees funny? No, it's kind of like... Come on, think about... Okay, the way I see it is it's not all the way 30 days past due. Because my, my breaking point is if it hits my credit, you know? Cause it's like Dude, you're losing money. You're losing money. Financing a financing, you're losing money. Is this a joke? This can't be a no, joke. I mean, it's not. Think about your guys' future. You've only been, uh, like, together, like, in your lives romantically for a year. And we have an infant that we want a better life for. We cannot be laughing about late fees. Yeah, I understand. And we cannot be financing Lush and then financing that financing. I didn't even know I did that, which is so Well, you did bad. it twice. Yeah. <laughs> There's more? Okay, blue oh, cash. Yeah. What's that? It's Everyday American, American Express. Express. Oh. $60 of payments and then $195 of purchases. Yeah, we actually had that paid off beginning of February. Yeah, it was completely paid off. It only Chase has a $1,000 credit limit. So it's basically maxed out. It's maxed out. Yep. Yeah, it's sitting. It was actually maxed out. Like and then I made a payment. Right it's now. at eight fifty seven right now. Yeah. It's got $134 ish dollars. And available credit. Forty dollar minimum monthly payment. You guys are killing yourselves with this, and it's interest free for Absolutely. now. Won't be forever. No. New charges. What are we doing? Apple Pay for something. Come and go. Is that like car work or is that? It's a gas, gas. station. It's a gas like station. Trip. Yeah. Okay. Roku. We do not need to be doing that. Hi V. I I don't know what that is. That's a grocery. Okay, Amazon Prime. Definitely don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. Is there more? There's more. Okay, Discover. Dude, you guys have opened every credit card that's ever existed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I actually got one sent to me in the mail the other day, and I was like, I don't need another one. I already have eight. No, that's how they get you. And I threw it away, but I was like, Dang. You're benefiting nothing from these, so don't even think about it. I did think 3, about it, 3,600. Wait, can, I have a serious question, because my thought process, hear me out, was that my utilization right now is like probably like 94, 96%. Okay, and that's god awful don't get me wrong but if i open another credit card technically it would expand i don't give a about you no i don't give a about your utilization you're thinking about your credit score i don't care about your credit score at this point I i'm thinking about the money that you are digging out of a hole that you are throwing yourselves i you're young to the world of adulting yeah 21 so i understand it but we cannot. You're just going further into a hole if you do that. You're just thinking about your credit score. I don't give a about your credit score. I don't care. You're just going to get yourself into more debt on all these maxed out credit cards. And then it's even further of a hole to dig out of. Now, what we can talk about is a credit card consolidation. But even there, then I feel like you're just going to max out these credit cards again. No, because well, I I, think, we've looked into it. So I've yeah. spoken to a bunch of different of those like financial groups or those financial partners that say um, like debt consolidation or what's it actually called? 
Bank, the uh, National Debt Relief. No, I they wouldn't go, go through. Mm. Um, Reach Financial is actually the bank that they'll that they were going to send us through, um, and they were going to. You're looking at a program. I don't, yeah, and yeah. every program imaginable. We don't qualify for consolidation loans because. No, what you might consult. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're still okay. setting the foundation. Okay. Either way, thirty dollars of fees and eighty three dollars and nine cents of interest you're losing on this. So over a hundred dollars is just taken away from you because you want to have a credit card. Okay, thank goodness. There's no more things to swipe on. So that's our debt, right? No. 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 So you should have gotten a statement for T D Bank. That's a credit card slash furniture that's a yeah, credit card furniture. slash furniture loan. I don't know if I sent that or not. Um I can pull it up real fast. So what is it? Uh, the TD Bank furniture loan is twenty five hundred, uh, two thousand five hundred twenty four dollars, with a zero percent interest until. It was three years, I think, thirty six, three or thirty six. How long have we been in it? Just just over a year. Yeah. So like two exactly years. What's the minimum monthly payment on this thing? Like one thirty. One fifty. There you go. It's minimum monthly payment. Like one twenty five, one fifty. Guys, you're addicted to debt. What other debts? Um, I have, we have an affirm loan. I have three affirm loans currently. How long do they last? Okay, the one, the big one that we've had since, um, what was it, September of last year was our rings. We financed our wedding rings. Oh um, it was, only reason we did it was because it was 0%, just like borrowing your money, spreading over the payments over that extra. I time. get that, but at this point, your minimum monthly payments are just stacking up yeah, so absolutely. much when we do it that way instead of just buying things. Yeah. Okay. Is 0%, okay. This is this is how zero percent financing works. If you if we're going to be financially literate about yeah. it, you can zero percent finance something if everything you were going to throw at it, you're investing instead. Mm. Let me guess, you were not investing the rest. You're just spreading out the payments, and then the rest of the money that would be going towards it instead is less because you know minimum monthly payments. You're just throwing up. Mm, correct. Yeah. Okay, then zero percent financing makes no sense. Perfect. You only do it when you're throwing the total amount that you would do at it towards investing. So, like, say, for example, like, we financed the, like, $4,200 is how much we financed. So, mm -hmm. we would take that $4,200 and apply it to, like... You like, invested instead. And like then an S&P 500? Is that, like, what you mean? Or, like, what do well, you... Well, I don't give investing advice, but we would invest it instead. Well, I mean, I'm not asking for... I mean, like, as an example, like, so I can clarify, like, what you're like, saying. Like, sure, I would put it in my retirement portfolios. Or, like, you But even it, still, like, I don't know Robin if I'd Hood. want that for you guys anyway, because that's just... You guys aren't in that place financially where we'd want to do this. I was so trying just, to understand what you were saying. No, 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 but that's what I'm saying. But I wouldn't, like, do that for you guys anyway. But for someone who's, like, okay. really stringent about their finances and likes to manipulate every single little thing. But, I mean, okay. Okay, so the minimum payment is 400 for the rings. And then... I Wait, what's the balance on the ring? The Actually, program. it's almost paid off. It's yeah, like, eight, like, I only owe $830 to affirm. And the minimum is... Uh, four hundred for the ring, and then yeah. I have the other one? two. I have firm two Amazon purchases, and they were both like a hundred dollars. So they're each like the like four payments. What's left is like, on it? Um, let me pull it up real fast. I want to say altogether, I know it's under nine hundred dollars. Um. You're addicted to debt. You like uh, got to adulthood, and you're like, I'm gonna get. Every no, that's debt not even ever. what happened. So I bought my first. I got my first credit card when I was 18 years old, um, which was the Commerce one through my checking account I've had since I was actually 16. And then I got a Discover um, travel card because I wanted to travel a lot. Um, and so those were the two cards I had. And when I actually met him, they were both paid off. My credit score was 748, um, and that's how I was able to get the $60,000 car that we drive. Um, but uh, I mean, we got together, so and then he kind of... How much I is owed on this Amazon? How much is owed on this Amazon? Okay, there's 53 on one left, and then 120 on the other. So altogether, like, $170 in just the Amazon. And then the loan for the rings is, like, almost paid off. We know. owe... It's like eight forty. Six seventy one for just oh. the rings. Nice. Yeah, and then... Well, the way you've been doing things, you pay that off, you go get into another debt. So no, and that's what I was. I don't know. I'm only seeing examples. So what is the car? 2022 Grand Cherokee L Overland. Oh. And the what's owed on it currently? Fifty-seven eight ninety-one. 
And then yours is... And then I drive a 2018 Kia Stinger. What's out on that? Uh, I believe it's 26850 Interest rate on Jeep? 4.24. That's actually. right. Interest rate on Kia? Oh, uh, was it? I just re- refinanced it last March. I think it's 11.51. Minimum monthly payment I see on the Jeep is $920 a month. Death in the key of five hundred twenty-five dollars a month. You guys are killing yourselves. You guys are murdering yourselves. Did I miss anything else? Yeah. Um, child support. Yep. You yeah. have child support, so you have another kid. Yes. Okay. Oh. Technically, our phones are debt. They're financed. Mine is, and her iPad's financed, and my Apple Watch. Child support will just put into your budget. Yeah, because that comes out of his paychecks. It's it out of the deducts. gross percentage. So did you calculate that into your 30%? What no. do you mean? You remember we took away 30% to get your take home? So it, uh, no, it's it's not taken off my actual tax income. It's after tax. So if that makes any it's sense. Okay. 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 So it's a percentage of my overall amount that gets taken out per paycheck. Okay. What else? Credit cards, anything? I see an Apple thing on your email. What's this Apple thing? Oh, we have an Apple credit card. We haven't talked about it yet, have we? Oh. No. No. Okay. The balance is $7,988. And the credit limit's $8,000. What's the minimum monthly payment? $255. What's the interest rate? Uh, 29.4. Dude. That's the I'm highest so one with the highest balance of interest, too. So every month we pay $100. Seventy-one dollars in interest on top of like it adds to the like the limit of the credit card after I pay the two fifty two. So really, I'm only paying like less than a hundred dollars a month towards the principal Dude, of the Apple. Yeah. So did we hit everything? T-Mobile. Yeah. Yes. I think it's all wrote down over there. I'm yeah. looking at the email. Everything. We can't survive like this anymore. We need you, Caleb. Damn right. This is this is a mess. This is insanity. And obviously, I never thought you'd actually reach back out to me. <laughs> but, like, I mean, I think, you know, they say, like, in, like, AA and stuff, like, admitting you need help is the first step. So, I'm admitting to you that we have a serious issue. Serious issue. And we're just financially illiterate, I would say. I say I'm financially inexperienced, almost, too. Adds to it as well. Absolutely. And you're pretty much financially right now but guys this is all consumer well except for the little medical debt so taking away the medical debt this is all consumer bull crap debt and we're at a hundred twenty thousand dollars a hundred twenty thousand dollars of consumer death bull high interest rate for the most part death this is the worst i have ever seen ever seen in terms of consumer debt I would be honestly relatively ashamed at that number, to be very clear. That is a road that no one should ever go down, and this is something you guys need to turn around ASAP, or the future is not a future. I'm just being as real and honest as possible. So, what do you have in retirement? Uh, it's like $17,851. What do you have in retirement? I don't have a retirement. So for a household, we have $17,000 saved for retirement. But I also have like a cash value, like life insurance policy. My mom has been paying in since I was a baby. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cash value is only $1,700 though. So, and then I opened one for Myla, um, our daughter, which I th- don't even think it has a cash value at this point. I mean, she's only been... Not even a year old, so. So let me tell you how the future looks. This is how it looks if we do not change things around drastically. And this is going to be brutal, but it's reality and you need to know. In this situation, we continue down this endless debt. We refinance after we pay something off. We get into bad car debt. We make minimum monthly payments our livelihood. And we start to fall behind because the car market fluctuates here and there. The economy fluctuates here and there. 
we continue down this path, we don't ever get to a place where we have a good retirement because by 32, we have $17,000 and that's all to our name. We go down that path forever. And then by the time you are ready to retire or by the time you are no longer able to work, you have nothing saved up and the child over there is forced to take care of each of you. Each of you. Going into consumer debt like this is irresponsible as a parent. Now, a lot of this, some of this was before that. So, I'm, you know, we can't be like, okay, that was irresponsible as a parent. But we can say, after this talk, anything you go into after this is actively choosing to be an irresponsible parent and have your kid take care of you when you retire. Do we understand that? Absolutely. Yes. What's our thoughts? I know it's hard to hear, but it's reality. Um, Realistically, I guess that's why we're here. Yeah, and yeah. I think that so like, we'll um, like us becoming more like financially educated, we can obviously pass the education on to her, you know, throughout her life, and not pass down these bad spending habits that we clearly have. Um, it's bad dad habits too, honestly. Yeah. I don't. Well, let's, let's look at the checking account. Because the checking account, because you weren't like spending an insane amount of money on these cards. We just. So what happened was we racked up the balances and then they've just sat like that for the past, like, what do you say? Six, well, seven months. Yeah, we got them in June. Um, and then we had a lot of stuff that we ended up having to pay a lot of money for. So we used the cards yeah. to do it. Like um, um, we, the sales tax on a car that I, a car loan that I was on, um, we paid for that. And then. So that's still sitting on the Apple card. And you're withdrawing from your savings to pay bills. Currently. Yeah. Yeah. Current savings, what is the total balance? Like, I cannot... Right now, we have $50. We went from $2,000 to $50. And part yeah. of that is... Um, could you want um, currently getting ready to move into a new place. So the majority of that money that was in the savings, we use for the deposit to move in. So mm -hmm. that's where that was at. And then that was prior to, you know, that was like March. Beginning March, they're March. Bu building a new house. And so it was supposed to be ready in middle of May. So we put our deposit down to move in. Um, and then obviously had the, probably the sh month in the car industry. Mm -hmm. And it just went downhill from there. <sighs> Checking account. Um, currently, like $300. Well, in the checking account, I'm just looking at what you... We have lots of PayPal stuff. Yeah, I like... Well, he sometimes we'll send money back and forth to each other, like Venmo. Yeah. Um, First because watch, East Sushi. Venmo, to be clear, the Meltdown, some other things, and Venmoing out and some stuff not to each other, that's off the table. That's done. We don't eat out once. Once for what is likely going to be a long time. What? Nothing. Huh? I don't. I don't even think it's like the indulgence of the food. It's the convenience of it. It is, but the and convenience of just, not having debt outweighs yeah. that. Agreed. Wendy's it's tough. Yeah, we love some Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they have great nuggies. I get it. Yeah. Especially when you've been, you know, you're working all day, and then you get home at eight thirty, nine o'clock yeah. at night, and then you're just beat from. Being there for 11, 12 hours, it's just convenience at that point. Sucks. On Absolute your checking sucks. account, I get it, but on your checking account, not every come and goes gas. You're going into no. the convenience store. Correct. I can Correct. see. It. Not every single one. Usually it ends up being about six, six dollars. So uh, that needs to stop. You, well, that's not all him. Nail though. and spa I and just all the stuff in Qdoba and Taco Bell. Klarna, yeah. Klarna, 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 McDonald's, Klarna, Klarna. Yeah, and right now there's no money on Klarna, no money on Afterpay. It's just Donald's the Affirm. just the Affirm. Good, and stop. Then, yeah. Okay, here's how you guys are going to start. Everything comes to the checking account. Okay, yeah, so we want to do the joint one. We have a joint... Um, yes, it is time. Capital One that I sent you. It has like a dollar in it right now. Yeah. yeah um, just... Right now, his paycheck, I get 75%. He gets 25 just because like most of the bills were in my name. Um, we're not splitting things anymore. If we're going to do this and we're actually thinking about the future, mm -hmm. thinking about the, you guys aren't married, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thinking about the future, future together, going forward, raising a kid, 
being set up for future, maybe having more kids, all these things. Yeah, also Arby's, Arby's, and, and yeah, El Charo, and it. Chipotle, yeah. and stuff in the shared checking account. So this is more bull****, <laughs> honey. Mm-hmm. At this point, it doesn't even matter look like. Look at. I don't care. At this point, we are combining checking account. All the money's going in there. We're not splitting up percentages. All the money's going in there, and the monthly bills are just being taken out of there. You guys are a single unit when it comes to money. It's not individual spending. Single unit. What? <laughs> Nothing. I don't care I about percentages. It's no longer your money. It's no longer your money. It's our collective household money. Yeah. And you attack things based on that. We pay the bill. What's rent? What's new rent? Uh, 1045 Which is very good for the area. Well, not for the area we're in, but like for the... Okay, know. yeah, 1045 I yeah. was here in 1450 <laughs> No. But yeah, 1000 bucks is okay. Utilities total, internet, gas, electric. Um, oh gosh. Uh, I don't know what like water and electric will be. Obviously, I mean, we, we, haven't we were there. paying for about the same square footage, about $100, $110 a month for utilities. That included water and electric. And then what's your internet? Um, Internet's it going is. to be, he estimates 65. We don't have it set up yet, but that's who he wanted to so go to. it's going to be about 200 for utilities, mm-hmm. roughly. Okay, so 200 for utilities. Now, from there... The debts, we gotta calculate these minimum monthly expenses. What do we calculate? What'd you get? What's your minimum monthly expenses for debts? All debts. 37. For per month, it would be 650. For that's for just the credit cards. No, no, no. All debts. All All of it together. But that's just all of our spending, babe. Well, we did it yesterday. It was like thirty-seven ninety-eight, I think, is what it came to. All right, we I'll to, add it up. We have to make a minimum of thirty-seven ninety-eight to survive. I don't see it on here. If you see it, tell me. Uh, I think it was these part are all of the added. I added all those together. They're all separate sections because I did like our disposable income and everything. It's okay. I got it. Twenty-seven ninety-four. I think when I added it up in the email I sent you, it was like 3500 So I don't know what I'm well, missing. Insurance. Unless we're missing any debts. Insurance. Yep. What are the car insurances on a monthly basis? Uh, 335 Yeah. For both? Yep. Yeah, for both of us. Okay. Household budget for food. One, two, invent. We are going to do 500 Does that? Well, never mind. That works. <laughs> Yeah. Then for toilet paper, household, diapers, the expensive one, and all that stuff, we're doing 200 okay. Does that sound reasonable? Yeah, per I month? Per month. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Per just, month. I think, what do we spend? 170 at Target? Yeah. Okay. Other minimum monthly expenses. Health insurance, it parents, comes out of, right? And then you're yeah, out of work. out of my paycheck. And then, um, I'm, I mean, I pay for... Her life insurance and my life insurance, which what? is forty five dollars a month, and then yours comes out of your check, right? The your policy. Yeah, everything comes out of. <clears throat> and then child support—that's a percentage of the income, right? That's not a Correct. fixed amount. Yep. Okay. It's four eighty five, but um, just found out about it, so we're trying to catch up to make it go down. There's You're behind. Back yeah. child support. Jeez, guys. Do we follow a very strict budget? No. Well, no. we are now. What I've written down is what you guys are doing. <laughs> gas. Monthly gas, both combined. 500 Maybe more considering DoorDash and everything in the car. We'll that calculate that from... Uh, we'll take that away from your DoorDash income, and you'll write that off your taxes. Okay. Any other minimum monthly expenses we can think of? I think that's it. Well, I mean, all of these we pay for. What? Let me see. Um, oh, so we have Apple Care, Apple Music Family. Um, Apple Music's I have, canceled. I have a... Car Wash yeah. membership's canceled. YMCA, YMCA, do you guys actually go? Yeah. I use it sometimes, and mainly we pay that much because What sometimes? That, three times a month. No, canceled. Okay, okay. Three times a month? No, we're not paying a gym membership for three times a month. 
Okay. If you well, go there well, we, we three times a week, we pay that much because it good. includes the childcare. Because we it's a, oh. it's two hours um, per day that they're open. You can leave your child there and go Only spend time. Hours. Yeah, it's maxed out at two hours. It's a little weird. Though. Just it's because their resources are limited. Rocket money's good. We're keeping that. Canceling Disney Plus. Okay, so YMCA will put in. Oh, and then I pay for um, what's that thing called? The, the Jeep. Yep. Connected services. Connected stuff. What does that do for you? Um, I can start my car from anywhere in the world. Okay, that's canceled. <laughs> that's stupid. That's canceled. That's so that's dumb. Not dumb. Need that. Oh, it's not dumb. <laughs> no, it's it's dumb to be paying for in your situation. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Anything else? A uh, Sirius XM's on a yearly basis of one hundred and ten dollars. Canceled. It doesn't renew till February of next year. Canceled February of next year. <laughs> Because this is going to um, take more than then to pay off. I send $25 to a... S- One second. $5,718 to survive on a monthly basis. So that's similar to what you guys had? Yeah. My head. Well, we yeah, I had 67. Yeah, you're cutting things out. We're cutting things out now. What I laid down is that rent, utilities, debt, insurance, uh, car insurance... Food 500, toilet paper, all the other household, taking care of the kid, $200 a month, your life insurance 45, and gas 500, which is crazy. Uh, might be more. YMCA 72, Apple Care 27. Nothing else, nothing else, that's it. Money doesn't go anywhere else, and you follow that strictly in a budgeting app. Rocket money, you already pay for it. So, mm-hmm. budgeting app followed strictly. So, what do you think income's going to be going forward? Um, I don't know. I would say I'm probably going to average, should be typically car sales every year increases over time. Obviously, the more you sell, then people come back and buy cars. That's what it's all about. Um, I'd probably say 9000 a month gross. Yeah. 9 to 10 gross is what I would probably estimate. So, I, and that... Money. Okay, so after child support and everything, I'm going to say bringing in about seven thousand, very conservative. Yeah, I'd probably say six to seven. Six to seven, then we'll do six thousand five hundred. Is what is coming in total? Um, um yes, I would say. I mean, I would say in seven thousand, just okay, adding five hundred um, from myself. Okay, seven thousand total. That gives us a thousand three hundred dollars to play with. Nothing's in savings. If you follow this budget exactly, and of course some up months will be up months, you're going to work your ass off. The moment he gets home, you're Uber eating. You put the kid in YMCA every single day, two hours, you're Uber eating or Uber driving or whatever the hustle is that you can get, whatever second job you can get. I don't care. You're working, you're working, you're working. Maybe you get a second job as well if she doesn't want to work. It's, I don't know. Yeah. But whoever's best to take care of the kid, I think work. I think take care of kid while working. Come home, take care of kid while working. You mm-hmm. guys don't see each other very much because you've gotten yourself into $120,000 of death, consumer debt. So, I mean, if you just think of $120,000, but it's 122. Actually, it's even a little more because of the stupid medical. $122,000 in stupid death debt. And then interest, and you only divide that by $1,300 a month, that takes 94 months to pay off. 94 months to pay off. Also known as eight years, but that's not even calculating interest. With interest, 10, 12, 15 years. I don't even know. So the main thing here is we got to increase income and the thing is you guys actually do not have a bad income so you are working this comes down to you or maybe you get a second job i don't care every moment that you're not sleeping or taking care of the kid you are working because everything needs to go to this everything needs to go to this what are the credit scores we have here uh mine my fico is 615 okay i'm i think mine is like 535 okay so we're probably not taking out any personal loans to Take care of these um, I have student loans. like a revolving like personal loan through Credit Karma. It's like though like they give you like a five hundred dollar like limit and no, then you pay nothing. into it. Nah, that's nothing. No, 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 you're done. Delete Credit Karma. Cut up the credit cards. You guys are done. No more debt. No, I don't care. Don't say anything. I'm done. No more bullshit. Every time that debt exists, the ability to get debt in front of you exists, you take it. You just take it. 
You are not credit card people, and that is perfectly fine. But stop. Stop. Cut them up. You're done. What we have to do from here is pay these off small to larges. What's the Jeep worth? You're a car guy. What's the Jeep worth? I don't know. Not We've had some we wide own. ranges. Yeah, I think I'm going to say upper 40s, low 50s probably. So, the, so we're just in the hole. Yeah, we're. I think I could probably get two to three grand out of my Stinger. I, I think my Stinger's my worth a little equity. bit more out of my. Yeah. What I would do, because that's insane with a thousand dollar minimum fee payment. With yours, I would look at the get what. <laughs> with your credit score, I would. You're selling it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't give a sh what. You don't need a brand new Jeep Cherokee. What are this, you gonna roll? This back is to what you're going to do. If you if you think you can sell it for fifty thousand dollars. I'm going to try to get ourselves. This is only if you get approved for the loan. Yeah. I'm, what? I'm not p optimistic because, I mean, like, heck, I got denied for PayPal, like, crediting, like, where they finance your things. If you like, look a on Credit Karma, this is all I'm saying. If you look on Credit Karma, they have those, like, uh, guaranteed loans. Yeah, but I only qualify for, like, the cash one platinum See, the hardest card part or something. with that is she doesn't technically have income. It's so she can't I really prove do it now because his sense. income is hitting my checking. That's yeah. part of the reason why we set it That's up that way. That's why we split it up that way. Because I also have employment history with the company. So technically it's... Okay, minimum monthly payments. We're saving up... <laughs> it's a gray area. Three, five. Save up $5,000 as quick as you can with the extra 1300 Plus more money that you bring in. Bring it. There should be an extra 2500 extra on a monthly basis. Do that for two months. You have $5,000. Sell your Kia. Mm -hmm. Put that three thousand hours you can pocket in. Combine that, have eight thousand hours. Go get a okay eight thousand hour car. Mm -hmm. I don't give a. Sh it's okay because it's reliable. AC doesn't have to be great, but it's okay because it'll keep you safe. Absolutely. That gets rid of that stupid two hundred fifty five dollar minimum monthly payment. I just the reason why I'm not behind selling the Jeep is because one. The minimum interest rate I'm probably going to qualify for now is double digits. No, I know. What What is killing you, though, more than anything right now? The main thing is $1,000 is being squeezed from you on a monthly basis because of this. Yeah, and it's making it's taking away any progress you can put towards anything. That is the killer minimum monthly what's, payment by far. And what's crazy is, like, I mean, we paid down to 75% of card utilization at the end of December. And then, it, I mean, like, this this year has just been... Took a wicked yeah. turn. I don't know. It's just strange. I think just our our area in general is just a little bit lacking. Because sure. I hear people all around that are... They're up. People are buying cars and whatnot. I just think everyone's a little um, hesitant. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I get it. So what we do from there, you do that thing with the Kia. You're just doing the smallest debts to the largest debts. You got to snowball this thing. Mm -hmm. And they always get rid of minimum payments as they go on. You just got to make the money. It's hard to throw out an entire plan because it just depends on how much income you bring. You just need to bring in income now. Yeah. And then you're going to just, as if you're not selling your <laughs> right now, but just sell your Yeah. Just the reason why I, I've looked into the snowball okay and i've looked into the avalanche and the, all the methods you can use and like i just hate to start on the snowball and go from smallest to largest and let that apple just sit there and i'm paying 150 dollars every month in interest you know no i and get it's it just and that just i really sucks get it the reason you're doing it is because all this is how i think about it if your debts are all within similar ranges which they kind of are except for the cars it makes sense to okay let me try this Take the smallest amount, and then once it's paid off, you just yeah. Continue. You like the way the snowball's working for you is because you're just getting rid of your minimum monthly payments. And you're able to throw that towards the next thing. Mm -hmm. Avalanche is great when we have something that's just insane interest, but you just have so many different accounts that your minimum monthly payments are stacking up so much that we want to attack the minimum monthly payments first. That's fair. Okay, I understand what you're saying now. So if there's like a few, if you had like three different accounts and one had insane interest, we can avalanche. Okay. I got you. you have like a million accounts. Well, that's kind of why, because a lot of, like, out of the eight credit cards or nine um, 
five to six of them are zero percent interest and so that's why i I didn't know but the minimum of the payments are still there and the interest uh free periods are expiring anyway exactly so it doesn't even matter we're minimum monthly payment until they're paid off really what matters most here is income the more you can increase your income the more you can pay it out and we're not taking out debt anymore no more debt no more debt hold each other accountable to that uh you guys are the first ones doing a couple on here like woo but hold yourselves accountable now you have that ability you're doing a combined budget you guys don't get to have fun for years paid for fun paid for fun it doesn't exist we're doing hand-me-downs for the kids you know through relatives and stuff like that don't look at me like that nothing's being spent brand new i'm sorry this is a hard situation this is a hard situation but the more income you create I think even if you bring in a lot of income, this is still going to take a minimum five years, but it'll be worth it. Because if you choose the opposite, you're doing this for the rest of your life. Yep. You're going to die on the Walmart floor. Kids going to have to take care of you. Yeah. Kids going to have to take care of you when you retire. So you're really giving yourself an either or choice here. Yeah. Sacrifice for a few years. Have a pain in the situation. Keep each other accountable. And also encourage each other. But it's going to be hard. I, I mean, I'm real. I'll be honest. It's going to be hard. But do it because the, your future matters so much more than just the next few years. And then you're going to invest your butt off because you need to be able to retire. But that, that's what it looks like for me. Okay. Uh, it's hard to lay out a full plan because you got to just increase the income. That's a big thing right now. Yeah. So final thoughts? No. Thank you. No. No. I appreciate it. And I think we can stick to it for sure. For them, it's going to be a really hard, long road to get out of this debt. $122,000 of consumer debt. It's the craziest we've seen, and I'm, I'm scared for their future. They have to buckle down. I apologize for not being the most optimistic with this episode, but it's hard to be at this point. They just need to increase that income. For their Hammer financial score, spending, their spending wasn't actually like insane, insane. They're spending more money than they should, of course, because they should be paying down the debt, but it wasn't like they're going out to eat every single day. Two out of 10 debt, it was like, I mean, that's bad. Zero out of 10 retirement had a little bit going, but obviously way behind two out of 10. Merchants fund, nothing, zero out of 10. Real estate, nothing, zero out of 10. Aggregate down, Hammer financial score for the couple, one out of 10. If you want a free $5, sign up for Acorns using the link in the description below. If you use my link, you get a free $5, and I get a free $5, and we all win. And don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Thanks. <laughs>